Telford Central. It cost two million pounds to build. It's on the London Wolverhampton Shrewsbury rail route, and it's alongside Junction Five on the M54 motorway. Today, Telford-born Lord Murray did the honours. In declaring the station open, and God bless all those who sail from her. <laughs> the money for this showpiece station has come from BR. The European Regional Development Fund and the Telford Development Corporation. This is another part of our jigsaw put finally in place, and it will bring more and more private investment into the town. It's obviously a good thing. Why has it taken so long? Uh, everything takes time in building new towns. You've got to put each piece of the jigsaw into the place when you can get the money. Telford Central will be served by intercity and local trains. It's built on former colliery sidings, and there's parking for 250 cars. This station has everything for the disabled. It has uh, induction loops for those that are hard of hearing. It also has uh, ramps uh, for the disabled. So it's been designed with the disabled in mind. And another clever thing about its design is that as Telford uh, expands, so the station can uh, expand. We've built it uh, in, the, in anticipating that uh, Telford's going to grow, and we want to grow with it. We've now got intercity trains running right into the heart of our town centre. And this means that a lot of the private investment will be doubled and trebled because so much is now pouring into Telford in this new period of confidence. And across the bridges here you can walk as a pedestrian into scores of shops in our covered shopping mall, to an international tennis centre, to an ice rink, to civic offices, to a town park of 400 acres, to new high technology units that are being built, to a 100 bedroom luxury hotel, uh, and to offices which will soon be employing 3,000 people in office jobs as well. At last, Telford can boast its own station. An advantage indeed, but one that was surely needed well over two decades ago when the town was struggling to make its mark.